Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about HDP Certified Administrator or HDP CA. So, as part of this video, under high availability, I will be talking about recovering a snapshot. So, so far we have seen uh, uh, how to create a snapshot and now we will see certain uh, restrictions after uh, snapshotting is enabled and also uh, once the snapshots are created and then uh, we will also see how we can actually recover if, if we lose a directory uh, either by corruption or for some other reason. Okay, so to, to look at the details about snapshots, you can uh, click on this reference material uh, that is provided as part of the link and you can see that uh, snapshotable directories, ca uh, snapshots can be taken on any directory once the directory has been set as snapshotable which we have done on snapshot demo. A snapshot, snap, snapshotable directory is able to accommodate 65,536 simultaneous snapshots. So under snapshot uh, uh, demo directory, I can have 65,536 simultaneous snapshots. There is no limit on the number of snapshotable directories. So you can enable snapshot on any number of directories in HDFS. Administrators may set any directory to be snapshotable. If there are snapshots in a snapshotable directory, the directory can neither be deleted nor renamed before all the snapshots are deleted. So this is the restriction. If you enable snapshot on a particular directory and if there are snapshots on that directory then the directory can be neither deleted nor renamed. The reason is as I have explained earlier when you actually create snapshots it will not actually create another copy of the files. It will only store necessary information to uh, to get the difference between the um, multiple snapshots. For that reason uh, it has to maintain uh, uh, the track record of, uh, of the directories. Uh, once the snapshots are created and hence we cannot delete a directory if snapshots are there. So, uh, but we can actually delete the files. So, let us simulate that we delete one of the files. So, we have Hadoop FS ls user ec2 hyphen user snapshot demo and hit enter ok and now you have the directory cards and a, 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 a file called uh, repomd.xml under this location and if you do this command and on cards you will see the largedeck.txt which is there now let us say this file is deleted accidentally so we will delete it rm So you cannot delete the cards directory itself, it will fail because the snapshots are there, it will complain. How come it is deleted? Okay, let me see if there are snapshots fs minus ls user okay you cannot actually delete only the snapshot demo directory you can delete and the subdirectories under uh, under it okay so we have the snapshot for this one so we can delete that but we cannot delete the parent directory on which snapshots are done for example now if i try to del delete this directory itself snapshot demo by using rm minus r it will fail but we can actually delete the subdirectories and files that are there under snapshot demo okay now you can see that when i try to delete uh, the snapshot demo directory it is saying it is snapshotable and already has snapshots so hence we cannot actually uh, rename or delete the directory snapshot demo now the cards is deleted but we have the snapshot and we can uh, check those things by running Hadoop FS minus LS user ec2 hyphen user snapshot demo slash dot snapshot and hit enter. We have three snapshots on this location and uh, each of it will have the cards directory. 
So if you delete everything under snapshot, you can get the latest one and you can copy the files by using minus cp command from the snapshot and uh, you will get the files. But in this case, we have deleted only one directory. Hence, we have to pick uh, whatever snapshot you want to use and then run cp command to copy only that file. So I can say Hadoop fs minus cp. So it's a regular cp command to copy files from one HDFS location to another HDFS location. Okay, and I want to copy cards. So I, I took the earliest version and uh, I want to copy it to user ec2 hyphen user snapshot demo. And the cards directory will be created to that location. If everything is deleted, like cards and uh, repomd.xml accidentally, I can just take this path and copy it uh, directly there is no need to uh, specify individual files so depending upon the magnitude of the problem you need to understand what needs to be done to do the point in time recovery which snapshot you want to choose and which file you want to copy uh, to uh, come back to the normalcy so this is how you can actually uh, use hadoop fs minus cp command to recover uh, from the snapshot to a point in time uh, file okay and now you can see Hadoop FS minus LS user EC2 hyphen user snapshot demo and you can see the cards directory here. And if you don't want to change the file properties you have to use this command. Now if you see the date is changed to the latest one 131 but the original file here is Hadoop FS minus LS have the timestamp something else it's 101 on cards but here under snapshot demo we have 131 which is not correct so we have to delete this we cannot just use the cp command directly so it will fail I should delete only the cards. Okay, this hyphen p2 packs is the command which you need to use. Hyphen p2 packs and hit enter. Now if you look at the location, not only the file will be copied but with the same properties. Okay, now we can run Hadoop FS minus ls command. Okay, still there is some issue. Uh, access time for HDFS is not configured, please set. So we need to set some parameter then only it will work otherwise it will not work so for that what we have to do is we have to go to ambari sign in It is important to have the same timestamp because that, that is the metadata which it will use to create the subsequent snapshots and instead of considering as a old file it will it will consider it as a new file and you can run into some issues. Okay. Now in HDFS go to configs and uh, search for that parameter. So the default value is 1 hour, setting a value of 0 disables access times for HDFS. So let me set it to default.
I think I have to use. Uh, let me see whether we should uh, have in seconds or minutes. So let me Google it. Google about that parameter. Come on. So this is the value which I should use. Okay. So this is the one hour value. If you make it as zero, it will be default. Save. Save and then we have to redeploy or restart. So restart all affected. Confirm restart all. It will take a while to restart all the services. And as we are restarting HDFS, we have to restart MapReduce and DRN as well. I will take care of those things later. For now, I will just restart HDFS and then we will test it again. Now the service is started and uh, the uh, DFS name node access time position is changed. And now let me delete it again. And then let me restore from the snapshot using the P2Packs. And it seems it is successful this time. Let me run. Hadoop FS minus LS. And you can see the directory's access time is 101. And every, yeah, all the other properties of the files are also copied. So this is how you can actually uh, recover uh, from, the, um, uh, from the snapshot. And if you want to delete the snapshot, you can just run um, uh, delete snapshot command Hadoop fs minus delete snapshot and hit enter and it will show you the syntax so snapshot directory and snapshot name so we can say Hadoop fs minus ls uh, user ec2 hyphen user snapshot demo dot snapshot You will get all the snapshots and then Hadoop fs minus delete snapshot. You have to copy this one and then you can start deleting the snapshots. So, incorrect number of arguments delete snapshot and uh, okay, I have to give the snapshot directory also. I forgot to give the snapshot directory as the first parameter. It takes two parameters, one is snapshot directory and the other one is snapshot name. Slash user slash ec2 hyphen user snapshot demo space. Oh, my internet is very slow. Yeah, now we can delete snapshot like this it says snapshot does not exist okay probably i don't need to give this one yes similarly we can delete other snapshots And the final one, I am deleting the last one also, or latest one also. Mm. 
and once the snapshots are deleted you can actually disable the snapshot or you can actually disable the snapshot and delete all the directories in one shot also by using rm minus r command but most graceful way of deleting the snapshots is using this command and uh, to uh, to disable the snapshots you have to run dislo command as hdfs user so you have to do sudo minus u hdfs hdfs dfs admin dislo snapshot on this location now the snapshot is disabled on that directory and now if i run ls snapshotable if i run ls snapshotable directory command we can see that there is only one snapshotable directory at this time so this is how you can uh, leverage snapshots to create the backup of uh, uh, directories at regular intervals for point in time recovery in case of human errors or corruption of files or directory uh, which are uh, uh, being uh, uh, on which the snapshots are being enabled and snapshots are taken at regular intervals that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to um, discuss further about certifications or big data, please join my LinkedIn groups called ITVersity-Certifications or ITVersity-Big Data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.